You know, a couple of people have asked me what it's like to develop on a MacBook Pro Retina display ever since it came out if you are a .NET developer, so let me just show you instead of trying to explain it. I show you the stats just because you should know that this is the core model. Um, it does have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so that's the only thing I upgraded is in terms of what the thing was uh, uh, running. Um, but in any case, let's just jump in and let me show you stuff. Parallels 8 came out today, which was very exciting because it added uh, true retina display support. The old version said it did, but it really didn't, and it annoyed quite a few people. But in any case, if I boot up Parallels, and you'll see the window here for my startup operating system. And there it is. Click Start. And in about eight seconds or so, we will have, ignore that one, I'll get to that other window in just a second, but in about eight seconds we will have the Windows desktop and we can begin doing stuff. So there we are. I'm not doing the live login because it just is one more thing it has to do. So in any case, there you go. There's the uh, Windows desktop. If you're kind of curious about what it looks like in terms of uh, performance, let's look at the performance. Oops, can't spell. Look at the performance deal. And you can see that the scores are pretty good. Now think about this. This is a virtual machine, right? This isn't even a native, uh, this isn't even the operating system running natively. So 6.9, the low score for graphics, which is still awfully good. But you can see the hard disk super fast at 8.1, memory 7.9, and processor at 7.5. If you're curious about what the settings are for the VM, uh, it is, I think, four cores is what I set it up for. Um, for those of you who've never used Parallels or some kind of virtualization, you can decide how many cores you want to set and how many, how much memory. So in this case, I gave it 8 gigs of RAM using four out of the possible eight cores because it's a quad-core machine. I mean, technically, um, of course, it's got the uh, the virtual or the hyper spasm Intel thing that they do. <laughs> I forget what it's called. I'm not one for marketing, really. But in any case, uh, let's jump into Visual Studio here and. It boots up uh, just a little slower than it might normally, and that's because I use ReSharper. So those of you who use ReSharper know that it's kind of worth worth it to have the ReSharper task, uh, tax, if you will. So once this boots up and gets itself started, I'll open up a large-ish project. This is Pop Forums. Uh, you can find that on CodePlex, by the way. Uh, the open source forum application that I maintain, and it's I don't remember how much code it is, but it does have about 700 unit tests, so I figure if we can kind of use something as an example uh, for performance just to, once it's all booted up there, you can see there's a whole lot of files, and uh, this is another thing that may boot up a little slow because, of course, ReSharper has to do its little analysis thing when it starts up. Let's run all of the unit tests. There are 724, and you'll see it starts, and it'll take... I don't know, I think it's three or four seconds before it gets to the uh, whole lot of them. And, uh, you know, that's not bad. So there you go. All's green, all's well with the world. Uh, another advantage to developing in this scenario, I think, is the fact that you can run a... Uh, uh, you can run multiple machines if you want. Let me open up the uh, popforums.com project. Now, this is not a, a large project necessarily. Um, all it is is the uh, the demo forum, so people can use it and try it out. Again, it may take a second to start up as uh, as uh, ReSharper does its thing. But in any case, uh, I have a web deploy project set up here, so or, or specification for both production and for a virtual box here. So let me actually go to that virtual box just so you can kind of see the difference. I have it just kind of uh, in sleep mode because there's really no reason to shut it down. So. A couple seconds later, I do have uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 running here. It doesn't have great uh, support in terms of the uh, Parallels tools, so uh, I don't know if I can actually run it at a at a better resolution uh, or whatever, but I'm not really even concerned about that. In any case, let me run this uh, publish, and um, it'll only take a couple of seconds to publish it to the other machine. And there it is running on the other machine. So it's kind of nice because if you really want to test something that's actually on another machine, not even if it is virtual, you can kind of do that. Um, and it's it's pretty painless. So uh, again, this was just the uh, very simple um, publishing mechanism for web deploy that you may have seen before. Um, pretty straightforward. So that's some of the high-level stuff.
some of the high level reasons that I like it. The idea is that it's just so freaking fast to do. Totally worth it. And I think you'll enjoy it if you give it a shot. Worth the money. And it's shiny aluminum too. Have fun.